Hey, good morning. Dr. Robert here uh, with the Cup of Dr. Robert series on anaerobic infections. Uh, just some of the clinical delineations that are important when we talk about anaerobes. See a lot of anaerobic infections in our practices. What you need to know is that anaerobes above the diaphragm are sensitive to penicillin, moxicillin, generally clindamycin, augmentin, those types of drugs. Anaerobes above the diaphragm are what give us bad breath in the morning. Uh, they're in the oral cavity. The peptostreptococci are key. Fusobacterium, Prevotella species, and the Velanella, which are gram-negative diplococci. Prevotella in the past have been called bacteroides. Uh, these have been renamed. Um, below the diaphragm, anaerobes are different. Primarily going to be bacteroides fragilis, as well as clostridia species. These anaerobes tend to be more resistant to penicillin and clindamycin. Therefore, metronidazole is the treatment of choice for these uh, infections, as well as extended penicillins like zosin or timentin, or the penems like imapenem or meropenem, or the second generation cephalosporins like cefatitan and cefoxetin, which are not quite as good as those other antibiotics. Clindamycin is unfortunately uh, had problems over the last couple of uh, decades. Uh, resistance is getting more and more uh, for B. frags to clindamycin. So check your sensitivity patterns at your local hospital. Anaerobes outnumber aerobes in the gut a thousand to one. Uh, they're responsible for abscess formation uh, intra-abdominally. So remember the distinction then between the uh, at the diaphragm level between the anaerobes above the diaphragm and below the diaphragm. Very key uh, for anaerobic clinical infections. Thanks. Have a great day.